Well, I'm Brooke with Revolution Gearing Axle here with my friends from Magnaflow doing a complete install. Um, when you put bigger tires on a Jeep or a vehicle, you're going to be a little slower off the line. Your crawl ratio is going to be off. You're going to lose some gears in your automatic transmission. So say you put 37s on a JT or a JL, you're not even going to touch 7th and 8th gear anymore. So we re-gear it, basically changes the tooth combination, gets those tires spinning quicker, get that off the line speed back, get your shift points back, get 7th and 8th gear back, improve gas mileage, take the strain off the drivetrain, and crawl over obstacles. Eaton jumped on board with this project. They're excited to be a part of it. Uh, we have their electronic locker. So basically you put it in the differential. You have an electronic switch on your dash. So when you flip that switch, it goes from an open differential to fully locked. So uh, typically at a normal differential, if you're one tire on ice, one tire on asphalt, the one that's on the ice is gonna spin and where you need traction will not. So you flip that switch, they're both engaged. We got them for front and rear, so it's true, you know, four-wheel drive. When you hear four-wheel drive, it's not actually true until you put a locker in it. So Eaton, you know, jumped on board. We have our chromoly axle kits for the rear. We have these for the new JL Rubicon, JL non-Rubicon. We have them for the JT Rubicon, and this is a prototype for the JT Sport. So a little bit different lengths. Um, one cool thing about what Jeep has done, I got to give credit where credit's due, is they're listening to the aftermarket world. So the old TJ and JK had a smaller set 10 bearing, typical Dana 44 size. They've upgraded these JL Rubicons and JTs to all the larger set 80 bearings. So it's basically a Dana 60 housing end. So we're seeing a lot less bent flanges, which is a big problem on the JK when they add all that weight. Um, along with that is our gear sets, obviously. So. The JL and JT are different because they have the eight-speed transmission. So you got to throw a lot more gear at it, which is nice because you get that crawl ratio as well and better gas mileage. Um, so 37s, typical 513. It sounds deep, but it's right. You know, that's just what it is. Uh, 40s, 538 are available. And then if you're on 35s, 488. And depending on engine combo, the diesel will have a little bit more torque. The 392 don't need quite as much gear. But the 3.6 and like my 2-liter four-cylinder turbo, you need that gear, trust me. So, and then, you know, full complete master kits. So the, these come with all the bearings, shims, seals, crush sleeve, ring gear bolts, um, Loctite for your uh, ring gear bolts, gear marking compound, RTV to seal the covers up. We also brought our heavy duty uh, differential covers. So we'll be throwing those on. They're in the box over there. We'll picture them later. Uh, we have our own gear oil that Torco made for us. So we use that for break-in specifically, non-synthetic for break-in. You can go to synthetic later on after the 500 mile oil change, uh, but our oil works great for both. We had it designed for us, for our specs. So let's go. So here we have our ring and pinion set, obviously. Um, we use the optimal heat treatment. So for a consistent computer controlled process, uh, precision machined, face hobbed, and face milling technology. And we lap it very well, which reduces noise and increases wear uh, properties where it needs to be. So you can see the JL and JT gear set, the pinion shaft's larger diameter, so we're not seeing a lot of breakages out of these. And we always concentrate to get as many teeth on the pinion as we can so it's larger. That way there's less breakages as well. So back with a two-year warranty, pretty lenient on it. You break it, let us know. There's no tire size limits. We build these to be abused. All right, so we went with the Eaton E-Locker. It's an easy choice. You know, these guys are driving to and from work. They go get to the trail, flip that switch, they're locked. So it's the best of both worlds. You can have it on, have it off whenever you want. Uh, Eaton also offers a lot of other different products. They have a true track differential. This is more of a limited slip. Um, it's very effective. There's no wearing parts. It's a worm gear design. So basically, one tire starts spinning, those worm gears bind up inside and transfer the power to the other tire to get them both going. Really nice in the snow and ice. Um, it's not like a full locker where you're fully locked and it'll kick you sideways really easy. It'll kind of work back and forth when you need it. Uh, a little bit more affordable than the e-locker and just nice to know that it's in there. Eden also makes a clutch style posi. This is like the old school muscle car, GM stuff. Um, same concept as the true track. It's a limited slip. So one tire starts spinning, those clutches will bind up and transfer the power to the other tire. So the clutches will wear out in time, but they are rebuildable, which is very nice. So all the old school muscle car guys swear by those things and been tried and true for years. And the Detroit Locker. So this is 
more for your serious off-roader. It is an automatic locker. There's no electricity, no switches to flip. You hit that gas and it basically engages and is locked. When you disengage any gas or torque to the locker itself, it'll disengage and it'll ratchet. You'll hear the teeth kind of clicking around a corner. So it's a different kind of sound. And then when you get on the gas, it's going to pop a little bit. So this one goes and it's more affordable than the e-locker. It's just there and very strong. So that's basically the Eaton line. And that's why we went with the e-locker. Brooks has provided us with a ton of great information just about gears in general and the advantages that Revolution Gear has put into the design and features that they offer with their gear sets. Not only providing the wide range of gears that are necessary for the different tire sizes that most Jeep applications will use, but going into the details of the benefits of what they've done to improve from a standard gear set. And all of these are options that you can incorporate with the different types of lockers that Eaton has provided. And he's provided a good description of each of the four types that they have, and of course, which ones apply. And now we're going to spend some time under Miles Gladiator JT. He's our events manager here at Magnaflow, and he's taken a pathway that's common amongst many of the Jeepers out there and many of our customers. And that is starting with one of the sport models. Many of the customers out there know where they're going and don't want to put the premium equipment from the Rubicon, knowing full well that the 410 gears aren't going to be satisfactory or that the axles supplied aren't going to be good enough for the 37s or 40s that might go on the vehicle. Also, many people start off with a sport model because it's more affordable and then invest into the vehicle as they go along. And this applies to suspension, drive lines, performance parts, just like the exhaust systems we offer for just about every Jeep platform. Now, one of the differences between maybe suspension and or performance bolt-on products is that gears are something that you do have to have a little bit of experience with. Now, you can just try to follow a YouTube video or something to that nature on an installation, but it will not give you the same result as going to a professional installer. As you can see here, we have had the pleasure to come out to Premier West out in Riverside and have this Revolution Gear authorized dealer do the installation. And one of the things you can appreciate with a professional installer doing the work is as you can see, each of the guys has a complete cart set up for not only an efficient installation, but an installation that will incorporate all the proper settings of the pinion and the ring. Now, a gear set isn't as easy as simply bolting something together and installing it. And an improper installation can lead to something as minor as acceleration whir or deceleration whine. Those type of things are minor, but a completely incorrect installation may actually lead to a ring and pinion engagement that can be detrimental to its performance and actually compromise the entire differential. And the whole purpose of what we're doing here is to try to get more from the Jeep and get better longevity and better reliability. So if you're not exactly skilled in this area, this is definitely one I say, take it to the professional and they'll make sure that everything goes as planned. Now, having seen quite a few differential swaps, gear swaps, and actually having tried to do this on my own in my old hot riding days, I will say that I was thoroughly impressed with the fact that this gear set that Revolution offers goes right in with a single shim pack that replicates what came out of the factory part. As you can see, the wear pattern that he's getting here and checking the paint is located in the middle exactly where it's supposed to be using the same shim set. And what that means is Revolution has spent the extra engineering time to ensure that the installation goes as easy as possible and replicates that OEM installation. And as you can see here, the Eaton Center section's in, the gears are set. Now it's time to put the axle in, but we're only going to do the mock-up just to verify everything's in good working order. We're going to slide this out, and Brooks actually brought over another prototype part for us to check out. Revolution is working on an improved set of axles for the JT platform, and this is that one product. And here we're going to test that product, and it looks like everything is going to work as planned. They've got everything set up. It looks like bolt holes are lining up. We're actually not going to be doing the installation on this. This is just a trial fit while we had the vehicle apart, but something cool that Revolution is going to be offering for this platform in the very near future. So if you're into some axles, stay tuned. There's going to be some products readily available for your Gladiator JT. And while we're buttoning up the rear, we're also working on the front here at Premier West. They are doing both the front and rear differentials at the same time. And we're at the phase where we need to go ahead and put our diff covers back on. And this is another part that Revolution Gear has, which is the heavy duty plate steel cover for both the front and the rear. This is just added protection to make sure that the investment we've made in gears is well protected when we decide to hit the rocks. Doesn't hurt that it looks great, has that cool Revolution Gear logo, and of course, a larger fill plug. 
Now with everything done on the installation, I'm gonna introduce the owner here. It's Miles, you see on the screen. He's one of my coworkers and of course a longtime Jeep guy, but I'm gonna have him explain that as his experience with the product. Start off with a YJ, uh, just a basic kit, just to get into the whole Jeeping thing. Um, moved up to a TJ, built the CJ, and now we've got the Gladiator here. It's basically with the Sport, once I put the 35s on, I lost my eighth gear, lost gas mileage. Once they geared it to 513s, my gas mileage came back and the sportiness of the vehicle actually picked up. Adding these gears to it has really given me highway ability, but then off-roading also, once I do start crawling it again, it's given me that lower range of you know, rock crawling capability. With these lockers, I've got them plugged into the stock switches of the Jeep, so I can engage or disengage them at any time and also disengage and engage the front and rear separately. So if I need to do a dig or anything like that or just need the rear, they're right there on the fly. Overall, I'm loving it. I mean, getting the gas mileage back and my eighth gear back has just been marvelous. We're also stepping up to some 38 inch tires soon and being able to have that low gear is really gonna help.